Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Our guest on this episode is simply known as Tolani. Hi. 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 How are you doing? Drum roll. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. What's up? Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Thanks mm. for having me. Mm. Yeah, I'm glad to have you here as well. Thank okay. You. So, when did you start music and mm. how was the support from home? Was it like 100 wow. at yeah. first? Yeah. It was. Well, no <laughs> rules. Not for upper. So, started music. Um, most artists start from a young age, mm. but obviously not as a career, more as a hobby when you first start. You know, so in school, I would be in the choir, competitions, at mm. church, I was in the choir, and just used to write as a young child just for fun, never really thinking that music was necessarily a career option. Yeah. Um, but then obviously as I grew up, while I was in school, I stayed doing music. While I was at uni, I was still in the choir. So I knew that, you know... But what this, did you do in uni? Psychology. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I studied psychology, but I also did... I got involved in a lot of musical activities. Um, uh, so after that, I then went to music school. After university, mm -hmm. I decided that, you mm -hmm. know what, I want to... Do the music. Yeah. Thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I just did that to sort of... What made you make that decision? Um, I just wanted to... I'm quite shy, <laughs> and also at that time, being on stage and doing the music thing was a bit nerve-wracking for me. So mm -hmm. I thought that if I, if I went to a place where I was forced to be on stage and forced to practice, that it You'll would help. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. All right, so a lot of people yeah. see you as um, the reserved or Ted the last wow. sister. Yeah, <laughs> because, um, you know, honestly, yeah. no disrespect, of but... Course. When we're talking about your Ted the Lost Sisters, everybody sees you as the laid back one right. and they see Tenny and um, DJ Copy mm. as the um, extrovert. Yeah. So is that true? Because you said you're actually shy. Yeah. So yeah. is that true or you're just yeah. in your zone and you just enjoy your it's privacy? It's probably a little bit true. Um, obviously, just because we're from the same family doesn't mean we all have the same personality. Mm -hmm. So we're all very different. You know, I like to think that, you know, Copy is the extrovert mm -hmm. everyone knows that you know she has her moments you know she's my sister i know about her private moments mm. and her but cubby is the one who's the most out there mm -hmm. and then timmy is kind of like a mix of me and cubby so she's kind of like mm -hmm. the medium mm -hmm. we always tease her that she's the well-balanced sister mm -hmm. do you know what i mean and then i'm slightly more reserved so your just private my, moments what nature. do you do when when um, we don't see you on yeah. screen when we don't see you performing what do you do so well, I'm an artist, so I do a lot of writing in my spare time. I do mm. a lot of music creation, writing. I write a bit of poetry. Mm. I just also just enjoy my own time. You do you know, enjoy spoken words? I do, actually. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Do you do a bit of, the way you said that is like... Um, don't you know. worry. I'm a, feel, <laughs> I'm a that artist, so yeah. don't let us even go there. Yeah, well, yeah spoken word is great. Mm -hmm. um, what else? I like, I enjoy a lot of things, but I'm just... You know, an intro. The, the the definition of an introvert is someone who gets their strength from being alone. Yeah, just, sure. I just need that. I, just I think I'm someone like that. For you, how welcoming would you say the industry is? Has been. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I don't know if it's that I'm completely oblivious, mm -hmm. but I think it's been quite pleasant. I think people are. I don't know. Maybe it's the time that I finally came out into music, but people are quite open to different types of music, mm -hmm. different kinds of sounds, different types of personalities. Mm -hmm. So I think that I've been, I'm very, I feel very happy with the reception that my music and me have gotten. You know. Okay. Yeah. Um, you're doing music. Your sister yeah. is doing music. Yeah. Why wow, have you not given us something together? Wow, we're working. We're working on it. I mean, as you guys have rightly pointed out, me and my sisters are all very different. Mm -hmm. right? So I think that. Even creatively, it's not easy to get two cooks in one kitchen to True. make one dish, True. right? So we've been, we've been making music together since we were kids. So mm. like we used to do it for fun, do you know what I mean? But um, because it's important for every artist to, to mark what is them, exactly. do you know what I mean? Because I see you doing something different from gelato. Right, exactly. Even though that's my jam. That's your mm. jam, right? <laughs> I love that song. But um, yeah, we're, we're extreme, extremely different, and I think it'll be stronger if we both are solid in our lanes and then come with some serious fire that no one can dispute. Okay, mm. we had an interview with DJ Kopi okay. sometime last year, and yeah. she said something about education being the most important thing to her, not 
a father's money, mm -hmm. not anything else, just education. Yeah. To her personally? Yeah, or? to her personally. Yeah. So do you agree with that? And for you, what is the most important thing? In life? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, that's it. I think that I agree with my sister. Education is hugely important. I think that I'm very happy, as is my family, that I decided to have some sort of education. Um, because we all know that music isn't exactly... It's a risk. It's a risk that when it pays off, it's amazing, mm -hmm. you know, but it's good to have something to fall back on, as, mm -hmm. as the parents would say. Sure. So education is important, but I don't think ed education is only about books, and that's mm. what's great about the time we live in now. Education isn't only about being book smart. Oh, the Music is a form school. of education. Art, painting, a cuisine, cooking. Education is about and, you know, endearing people to be them, their best selves, mm. whether that's an artist or a, or a bookie person, right? So education is key, but I think growing in Nigeria where people can be encouraged to do themselves to the fullest, mm. whether that, and that's what I like about art today mm. and music. Mm. The acceptance of music is the acceptance of, you know what, you can do what you, what you want, just be very good at it and give it your best. So you what's the what most valuable thing to you? You still haven't in answered life. that part of my question, yeah. It's because I don't really understand the question. So similarly, for me, mm -hmm. I value being able to pursue my dreams, Okay. right? And that includes education, right? I wouldn't say, if somebody said to me, oh, I want to be, I want to be a molder that mold mugs. You can't truly value that dream until you educate yourself in what it takes to do that. Mm -hmm. True that. So I probably agree with my sister that education is super important in all aspects of life. All right, so right, a lot um, of people yeah. would um, say that being the daughter of a billionaire is everything they've always dreamed about, right? right? Mm. But being human, yeah. everyone would know that it is a gift and mm -hmm. a cost. So what are some of the things you have faced being mm -hmm. the daughter of a billionaire? Right. And what are some of the perks? What are some of the things you enjoy, yeah. the privileges from being the daughter of a billionaire? I mean, shout out to my dad. He did his thing and he achieved for himself, right? Mm -hmm. So the first thing I'll say is that being the child of somebody who's really successful is not the same thing as being successful yourself. Mm -hmm. It is not the same thing. That is his achievement. Really proud of him. He's an inspiration to all, to mm. us, his children, as he is to everybody else. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think that every every position in life has its pros and cons, as yeah. you pointed out. And sure. I think that um, to to steal a bit of Spider Man lingo, with great something comes great responsibility. So yeah. sometimes being in a position of privilege means that you need to do your best with that privilege, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to give your absolute best to every situation that you're in. But then the curse of that as well is that you have to, sometimes, that thing, that star is so bright, no matter what you do, mm -hmm. you can't really outshine it. You know, you can't win or lose. Mm -hmm. You do really well, and they're like, yeah, of course she does well. She has the privilege to do well. Mm -hmm. If you don't do well, why is she not doing well? Look at everything that she has, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, I try not to focus on things that you can't change. Opinion sure. is one of those things. People will always have opinions about what they would do in your position. Mm. But in life, if you focus on, on other people's opinion, then you never really become anything of sure. yourself, right? So I just want to work really hard. What? I want to I wanna pursue my dreams to the best of my ability. Bam. And you win some and you lose some. But yeah. ultimately, the plan is to win. So. <laughs> and you're a winner already. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's bring it back to your dream. That's right. music. Yeah. Um, take us through your creative process. Um, wow, so it can take any shape or form. I think creativity, that's the beauty of it. it it's completely flexible. Mm -hmm. So when I'm writing a song, sometimes I'll start from a, a, an idea. Mm -hmm. Something inspires you, maybe it's uh, an experience. Mm -hmm or maybe it's somebody else's experience. It could be other music, it could be other movies, but I'll start with an idea and then I'll have, I play the chords, not, I don't say I play the piano because I couldn't perform for you, mm. but I can play well enough to write music. No. So sometimes I'll start like that. I'll start with some chords and then I'll mm. write some words, I'll write a melody, and then I'll, I'll meet with a producer who I think has the ability to elevate that song with drums and da da da. Or sometimes I'll get a fully made beat from a producer and I'll write melody and lyrics. 
It depends. It depends on, on what the situation calls for. Uh, so we touched on the subject. Bamilo. Bamilo. Oh, my gosh. With Bamilo. Ricardo Bang. How, 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 <laughs> how did you Bang. make that music? Cause, um, oh. Bamilo is one of those ones that... Um, you know when something takes on a life of its own? Mm. Bamilo was as, excite, as exciting it as it is to hear. Mm. That's how exciting it was to make. Make it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the producer is called Adi James, mm. and he came in the studio. Because um, I had been away for quite a while. I had previously released something called Tenderoni. And then I, ha I signed with new management, and I said, you know, I really want to put something out. It was like December. I was like, mm -hmm. I want to put something out this year. I haven't put something out this year, and I just feel like if I'm going to be a real artist, I need to make music fast. So she was like, okay, cool, do it, you know. She brought in Adi James. We sat down, listened to a whole bunch of instrumentals, mm -hmm. and he played a couple of chords. And we were like, that one, what is that chord? Loved it. We sat down, started to write. Wrote, and it we happened really fast. We wrote the first verse. Um, first chorus, and we got to verse two, and I was like, you know what, it'd be really nice. When I saw the energy of the, you know, it was quite romantic, mm. I thought this would be really nice as a duet. Mm. You know, so my manager was like, you know, who do you want? You know, who do you want? And, and I was, I didn't even have high hopes, because again, I'd been silent for so long. I wasn't sure how easy it would be to get so some, someone so mm. quickly. So I, and I love Ricardo Band's voice, I love his music. Um, and I've always wanted to work with him. I think he's an yeah. incredible songwriter, and I thought his voice would really fit. I in did. the song, I right? Mm. So I, um, I was like, Ricardo Banks. So she leaves the room, she makes a call. You know, I wasn't really expecting it. She comes back in the room 30 minutes later, she's like, they love it. Ricardo's people have like, they love it. He's going to come record it. Right. Next day he came in, did his verse in like 10 minutes. And we had a song, literally from start to finish, maybe six hours. Wow. Yeah. So okay. I mean, um, it's exciting. We need yeah. to wrap up, but quickly, what's the difference yeah. between your sound and the copy sound? I mean... Art and beauty and all these things are in the eye of the beholder. Mm. So what do you So feel? you will let us decide that. Exactly. Okay, I think you need to sing us out so we can yes, decide. Yes, you so. also didn't talk about my new song, Maybe Baby. Yeah. Mm. 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 It's so, my new song. Maybe so baby, maybe you are going to sing Maybe Baby. baby. So yeah. Can you tell us about <laughs> Or just baby. sing about it. Yeah, just so sing. I'll tell you about it really quickly. And um, it's a song... Um, it's R&B, so I was really excited to explore a different genre. Mm -hmm. um, I tried to infru infuse the Afro with some of my choices of cadence and how I said things and how I said certain words. But essentially, it's an R&B song. Okay. And it's available everywhere now. The video is mm -hmm. on YouTube. Please check it out. Sing it. Okay. Sing it. Love and it goes it. a little something like, <laughs> I'm in love with this drink. I think it's gone to my head. And you can be my maybe, baby. This feels a little dangerous. Yeah. Go listen to it. It's going to be okay. on repeat. That's Please. Good. <laughs> and that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, A Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Arrow TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, go to my co-anchors, Ewa Oluwa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Shunkeye and the entire production team. And of course, our guest, Tolani. Thank you for being here. You. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and be good.